is up everybody and welcome back to my channel today's video is super exciting when we were in Arizona I saw this at Target and I wanted to die because I knew I wasn't going home for two days and I wasn't gonna be able to film but today's video is a Target dollar spot Christmas roundup so everything they have also in the whole store but especially the Target dollar spot is what I want to highlight today but of course we will make our way through the entire store and I'll show you everything they have for Christmas I'm gonna go to this first Target and if they don't have much you know I'm gonna hook you guys up and make sure that I go to another Target that's in the area I'm just super excited I hope that you guys loved my last video that I posted my last Christmas video I worked so hard on that video. I just love Christmas, so it's super easy for me to pour my heart and soul into those types of videos because I love Christmas and I know that you guys love Christmas, so I just wanna make sure that I deliver you the Christmas content that you deserve. But with that being said, today's video, like I said, is a Target dollar spot Christmas roundup as well as a whole store decor sneak peek. I also wanted to check out for you guys what they have for fall clearance. Today it is October 20th so I think that pretty soon they'll start putting all of the fall decor on clearance because they do need to get rid of it and make room for the Christmas stuff so I wanted to check out that for you guys as well and let you guys know about that but I, I just can't wait anymore so let's just head into the store and let's see what they have for Christmas decorations at Target and also I couldn't do a Target video without wearing all Target attire I literally have on a shirt from Target jeans from Target shoes from Target earrings from Target pretty sure I bought this lipstick at Target it's not Target brand it's L'Oreal I had to bring out all the Target juju hoping and praying that they have Christmas stuff like the one that I saw in Arizona because the stuff I saw in Arizona was so cute and I was so sad that I couldn't just drop everything then in there and film the video right then because oh my gosh they are killing it this year I saw some sneak peeks for Magnolia stuff Target Dollar Spot and I cannot wait to show it all to you so let me not blab on anymore let's go see what they have at Target for Christmas in 2020 but obviously I just have to say make sure that you subscribe to my channel and you give this video a big thumbs up okay okay let's go Okay, I just walked into the first Target and it is not looking good. I'm gonna show you all they have in the dollar spot and then we're gonna peruse around the store a little bit but we're definitely probably gonna have to go to another Target. But let me just show you what they have. Okay, so for the dollar spot, this is literally all they have. I saw these when we were in Arizona and these are actually really, really cute. They're like candle holders christmas tree shaped candle holders and they have black and gold and then they have like a couple little like mini trees and then like mini tree ornament sets to go with the little mini trees but guys that's literally it other than that it's all fall i will say it is extremely picked over so i think that maybe they're starting to make room for christmas but this is not looking good so far. I am feel like I'm going to have to go to like 20 targets today. I interrupted this Christmas video to bring you probably the most aesthetically pleasing Thanksgiving tablescape I've ever seen. You need to see this. Oh, I'm obsessed. First of all, this table is stunning. Second of all, I love the little like white pumpkins with the gold candles. I think it would look better with gold silverware, but I love the black with the table. This is the vibe. But with that being said, I think I saw some Christmas Magnolia stuff. So this video might be saved. Okay, we have some hints of Christmas right here. Some like blankets, a couple rugs. Okay, we might be getting somewhere. Oh, oh red alert, red alert. I found some Christmas stuff. Ready? Okay, I'm obsessed with these. These are really, really, oh my gosh, they're so nice and thick. That's what she said. <laughs> These were really popular last year. It looks like they're adding on to it. This is a kid's bakery set, and then they have the kid's dollhouse that was really popular last year. And then they have these things, which I don't know that they're necessarily meant to be decor or more meant to like go with these sets. It kind of looks like it goes with this. I feel like I need to get one of these and give it to Brian. <laughs> 
a Christmas wish list. They also have these really pretty um, like candelabras, candlesticks. I don't really know what these are called, um, but they have a couple different sizes. They have like a shorter one, a medium one, and a tall one. I like those a lot. They're like a grayish wood down here and then like the black. I really just can't get over how much I love this stocking. And it's pretty cheap too, it's only 15 bucks. They also have these little towels that I found that say like homemade hot cocoa. I wish that I could see what the rest of it looks like, but I'm guessing it's pretty plain. And then this is a table runner, which is just like the red plaid. That's pretty cute. Okay, moving on, I'm over in the other decor section where those blankets were that I showed you. And honestly, there's really not that much stuff here. Some of the stuff is kind of like, I don't want to say weird because it is some people's style. It's just not my style. But they have these interesting like zebra pillows. Hang on, I'll show you guys. I know these are definitely some people's styles. It's just not mine. But they do have these like zebra pillows that are pink that say dashing through the snow. With these little llamas like carrying presents. They are cute. It's just not really my style. And then they have some more like plain pillows hidden back there. And let's see what else I can find. Okay, I did snipe out some Christmas candles. We have like Silver Bell, Santa's Workshop, Sin Amazing. So, oh, some more. Under the Tree, Balsam Citrus. I kind of want these. Uh, I love like Christmassy scented sweet stuff. They are definitely starting to put everything out. So I think in like another week or like a couple more days, this specific Target that I'm at will definitely have way more stuff because I keep finding little like Christmas sprinkles. Found a bunch of Threshold towels. So really cute and festive. This one definitely caught my eye with the little ruffles on the bottom. Not ruffles, what are these? Tassel, polka dotty, I don't know. I'm <laughs> Words are really hard for me today for some reason. If you're wanting to go all out with your bathroom, they also have like bath mats that match with the bath towels. And I think that's cute and little like red and green. Love that. Also found these sheet sets, blankets, quilts, that sort of thing. If you like to change out your bedding for the holiday season. Personally, I don't do that, but it's something I could see myself doing. I don't want to linger too much in this store since I know I'm going to go to another one and they might have way more stuff, but I quickly wanted to check out the fall and Halloween stuff just to see if there's any clearance that we can get our hands on a few days early. So I'm not seeing any sales in the candy, which makes sense because a lot of people wait till the last second to buy their candy, me included, because I have no self-control. But it kind of looks like down here, there's a lot of empty aisles. Okay, I just rounded the corner and do you see what I see? Oh, okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. We have Christmas lights. Really, really cute Christmas lights. Okay, this is really interesting. They have like a million empty aisles and like no Halloween decor left. So maybe they just didn't get a lot and they were lucky and like sold most of it because it doesn't look like they even have much that's gonna even end up on clearance. Let me show you what they still have left. So this is pretty much it. This is the only aisle of Halloween decor they still have left and none of it is on clearance yet. All right, enough about Halloween, back to Christmas. So this aisle is empty. This aisle is empty. This aisle is empty. And this aisle is empty. Like I said, a few more days this place will be filled. But I'm not gonna wait. Let's go to another Target and see what they have there. Maybe we'll have more luck. Okay, it's better. This one is already better, but I feel like it's still not everything. I'm gonna show you guys around what this Target has. Okay, so similar to the other one, they have like the candle holders, the mini trees, but this one has these cute little plaid plushy trees. I like these a lot. They also have gray ones, so I like that. I'm actually, I'm gonna get that. <laughs> These are the only two of this kind that my Target has right now. Okay, and then this is a lot of the same stuff as before as well. The trees, more mini trees. These ones are a little bit different. These ones are like felt ones, so those are really cool. Oh, and then these are cool, like glass ones. 
I like that a lot. They have a couple different shapes and colors. They also have these paper ones in all different colors. These are really cute. I would definitely pick up a bunch of those to stick everywhere. And then I love these little trees. These are perfect. As far as the dollar spot, that's it. But there's a lot more Magnolia Christmas stuff here. Oh, I am excited. They have different like mats and stuff. These are absolutely adorable. Three different sizes, different like pillows. Really cute and simple. Obsessed. That's a good deal for $4.99. And then the big ones are $12.99. They have more stockings here than they had at the other one. And I love this one. And this one's really, really cute too with the red palms. And then they have the same one that they had at the other Target, and then this one as well, which is like a green plaid with the palms as well. They all have the palms. I absolutely love this rug, and there's just so many pillows. And they have these really, really cute stocking holders. They also have these awesome 24-ounce candles, and these are $24.99. They have these in three different scents. They have one called Aspen, Cypress and Pine, and then Bergamot Spice. I can already tell you this is going to be a really, really popular item. So it comes with this little metal wreath and then two magnets. And then the numbers are shaped as a tree. So it's just a countdown. This is really cute and simple. I love that a lot. I actually kind of want that for myself. It's a good price too. It's only 20 bucks. So many good subtle Christmas things in this line. Subtle Christmas isn't really my vibe, but I still really like them. They also have a bunch of like different throw blankets. And this one has so much more like Christmas greenery as well. We love to see it. I also really, really like these pot holders. These are super cute and plushy. Chip and Joanna Games are definitely bringing out all the stops this year with the cute little kitchen utensils. They have really nice platters as well. These are actually plastic, which is nice because they're more kid friendly. And they have these nice ceramic plates. So for place settings, you could do like this one, like that one. And they have even the little mugs to go with it, but these are pretty little. They have paper napkins if that is more of your thing. And then they also have really, really cute, simple Christmas mugs, which I like a lot. Like fa la la, the little tree. Another little tree. They had one over there that said Mary. And then just cute little trees. Okay, this I absolutely love. It is a Letters to Santa box. I mean, I've definitely seen these before. But, you know, the fact that it has Chip and Joanna Gaines' name on it definitely makes me want this one more than other ones that I've seen. It has the holes on the back so that you can mount it, and this is going for $39.99. It's definitely extremely heavy and super good quality, but I would be a little bit nervous that maybe the red paint, if it's red paint, would um, scratch off if you got a scratch on this, but it's very, very nice and a pretty glossy red. Colors are definitely showing up a little bit different on camera than they are in real life, which is frustrating, but it's a part of vlogging life. I love these little vases as well. I don't think these are part of the Christmas line, but they have the two different sizes and you could put really cute sprigs in them. You could make them Christmassy if you want to. That's definitely something that I try to do. I try to make the stuff I have more compatible with Christmas stuff so you don't have to buy as much stuff. You can just buy all those little things and fill in with that like I said before. So that's something that I personally try to do with my Christmas decor is like how can I make the stuff that I already have that's already neutral Christmas. Huh? Christmas. Christmassy. Here they have more of that stuff I was showing you at the other store that I think is meant to make this like village. So they have like more little cars and little Christmas trees and then like a little cupcake set and a mixing bowl and just little cute things for kids. Those toys also could just be meant to be like Montessori toys. That's what they look like, which are toys that are like meant to spark imagination. Like they're not toys that like light up and have crazy colors and electronics and they don't require batteries. Those look a lot to me like Montessori toys, which is something I've been researching a lot, you know, maybe someday for my own kids. Um, one of my favorite vloggers, her daughter only plays with Montessori toys, and it just seems like a really neat idea. One thing that is also super nice is this milk and cookie set. This is really, really cute and simple. This one too is a pretty good price at $19.99. They also have these awesome coasters. I definitely prefer 
the way these ones look but i like that these ones come in this really nice wooden holder these ones are super nice i love that they also have about some christmas oil diffusers and then they also have these teeny tiny little candles which personally i would just use these more as decor than actually burning them but that's just me so those they sell individually, but they also sell them as a set. So individually, they're $5.99, and as a set, they're sold as $17.99. So there's literally no savings for buying them as a set as opposed to individuals. So I guess you can do whichever one you want. I don't really have a recommendation. Okay, so real talk, I got super distracted looking at planners because I really want to get a planner, but it's a weird time to buy one because I don't want to get one that goes from like June of this year till July of next year because it's already almost November. And then most other planners don't start until January, but I really want one, so I don't know what to do. I'm thinking maybe I'll just get a notebook and try to like keep track that way and then get a really nice planner that starts in January. But anyways, <laughs> I literally got distracted for like 30 minutes doing that, so back on with the Christmas decor video. just found like the jackpot of five dollar christmas mugs some honorable mentions to a few of my favorites this is my baham mug i'm also obsessed with this gingerbread man one that says oh snap like this is insanely cute i'm not a mom but for all you moms out there it says all mama wants is a silent night which i'm sure is true because i'm not even a mom and that's also all i want and then right next to this they have laid out a bunch of like one dollar cookie cutters which is really really cute and even like green decorative cookie scoops and then oh, i like this a lot this is like a wide cookie spatula but honestly i'm thinking pancakes okay so now i'm in the fall section like how i did before to see if anything's on clearance and no clearance here either but they also don't have okay like i was saying they also don't have a lot of fall stuff this is all they have so they just have like some pumpkins i'm definitely tracking some of this stuff listen Shut up. Definitely gonna keep my eye on some of this stuff because I think it's cute, but like I don't wanna buy it if it's still full price. Namely, those pumpkins. But right as we get past fall, we start to get into some Christmas stuff. So lights, just like the other store. But wait, there's more. This is definitely exciting to see. The other store did not have this. So we have some hints at some wrapping paper. I am absolutely wrapping all of Brian's presents in this Baby Yoda wrapping paper. He is obsessed with Star Wars and the Mandalorian and Baby Yoda. actually found a couple more aisles with some fall stuff. You can definitely tell though that they are starting to clear out for Christmas, which is really, really exciting. I'm definitely gonna be coming back here every day this week so that when they put out the clearance, I'm here to get some of it. <sighs> All of that shopping definitely made me hungry. I'm gonna pick up a few things for dinner and I guess I'll show you guys, take you guys along because a shop with me video and I'm food shopping, so. Brian and I love this specific trail mix and I really want to get this for $14.99 though I'm not sure. I'm going to get it though and then compare the price in ounces to the bag and see if it's worth it. We're planning on doing like a bigger grocery shop tomorrow but I'm going to go ahead and grab like a couple Chobanis and stuff just to get us through until tomorrow. Two of our favorites are raspberry and blueberry so I'm just going to get one of each just so that we have it to hold this over. I told Brian I wouldn't go crazy but I'm finding all this fun stuff and I don't know if they'll have it at the stores we want to go to tomorrow, so. Mm. Okay, interesting find also about the Tex-Mex trail mix. So this was $14.99 for 26 ounces. Okay, 
So $14.99 for 26 ounces. Okay, interesting. So the bags are actually on sale, two for $7, and they are 10 ounces each. So it's gonna be $7 to get 20 ounces. This is definitely a way better deal. Okay, wait a second, I stand corrected. These trail mix things are actually only $6.99. So I'm not really sure what exactly I was looking at, and they are a dollar off, so you're gonna get 26 ounces for $6.99 or 20 ounces for $7. So it turns out that this is actually a better deal. So that's exciting. I wanna buy something like this so badly. <laughs> I'm craving something sour and something gummy and fruity so bad. Okay, I showed you a Florida-ism in my last Target video and I wanna show you another one but I'm actually not sure if it's still a Florida-ism. I know it started as one, but I wanna show you guys because I think a lot of you will be excited about it and you'll wanna check your Target to see if you have it in your area, but I know that we have it in Florida because it started out only selling at Publix. But okay, I'll stop like rambling and just show you what it is. So our Publix, and I guess now Target, I've never seen it at Target, but that's why I wanted to point it out to you, actually sell the big bottles of Chick-fil-A sauce and Polynesian sauce. I know that people go absolutely crazy for these sauces, so that's why I wanted to show them to you guys, because maybe now if they're selling them in Target, Maybe they're selling them in Target's countrywide. I almost said worldwide, but Target is not worldwide. Um, so maybe they're selling it at a Target by you because I know that when I posted this on my Instagram, people were like, where did you get that? Where did you get that? So I wanted to show you because maybe it is in a Target near you now. That's why I wanted to show you guys. Go get your poly sauce on. That's the one that I have. Well, actually, I have both, but <laughs> go buy it. I was only supposed to get a few things and I'm leaving with like a whole cart. So I'm gonna go before I get in trouble. Okay, I just got out of my second Target. Oh my gosh, those videos seem quick, but I was in there for like two and a half hours. Brian called me like three times and he was like, you're still at Target? He doesn't care, it's just surprising how long it takes to me and to him, honestly. But I ended up getting both of my tasks done today. I decided to kill two birds with one stone and do the grocery shopping that I was planning on doing a video for, but I will do more grocery shopping in the future. I'm just hungry and I didn't have lunch so I decided to just get some groceries that I needed so I can go home and cook dinner and eat with my family, which is Brian and his mom and his brother. His mom is in town right now. But I'm gonna go ahead and do a haul for you guys so I can show you everything that I picked up today at Target. I only got a couple of Christmas items so I'm gonna go ahead and save those for the end and I'm gonna go ahead first and show you the groceries that I got. A lot of them are gonna gear towards what we're having dinner for tonight. Keep in mind, it is Taco Tuesday, so a lot of it is gonna be like more geared towards like tacos and Mexican food and that sort of thing. Um, but we are having tacos for dinner, but I also found some other really fun stuff that I'm super excited to show with you guys. So let's go ahead and show you guys what I got. I'm just gonna kind of start grabbing things because I did not bag them organizationally, if that's a word. So I'm just gonna grab stuff and show it. Okay, so first off, I got a bag of buffalo cauliflower wings. So I know I'm not vegetarian anymore, but I still absolutely love stuff like this. And this would be perfect for football Sunday in the air fryer, so I went ahead and grabbed these. They also had plain ones as well, so I went ahead and picked these up too, crispy cauliflower. Um, I don't know what I'll put on them. I also could just end up putting Frank's Red Hot on them. But I wanted to pick up the plain ones as well because I thought too we could also throw these in like a stir fry or something like that just to add a different texture into that meal that we have all the time. So my camera battery is flashing so I'm really sorry if the angle changes but let me go ahead and change that. Okay, much better. I think I've said all I need to say about the cauliflower. This looks good and I'll let you know what I think about it on my Instagram story. So make sure you follow me on my Instagram at Katie Finding. Okay, I grabbed my favorite tortilla chips. These are the Mission Tortilla Strips. I love these tortilla chips. They're really similar to the Trader Joe's longboards that I love. But when I'm not going to Trader Joe's, I just pick up these and I love them. I was hoping to make guacamole, but they didn't have any avocados that were ripe. And non-ripe or fully ripened non-fully ripened avocado grosses me out so bad so I just didn't pick any of that up I decided to go with like other dips and I don't know what this was Brian insists that every meal we have includes something that's green which like I think that's normal but like I had to get a salad so I picked up a bag of the Southwest salad which is 
seems really similar to the Trader Joe's one that I don't really like that much, but Brian really likes it. And then I got hearts of romaine to like beef it up. I'll probably honestly just eat hearts of romaine or not even have salad. Ooh, rebel. But this is what I got for the green product in our meal. Then to go in the tacos, I just picked up some shredded lettuce. I like lettuce in my tacos. I think most people do. This could have been the green thing, but he said that wasn't enough, so... I don't know, but yeah, shredded lettuce for the tacos. Next, I grabbed mine and Brian's favorite ice creams, the Yasso bars. We've tried almost every flavor, and every time we try a new flavor, we wish that we didn't because we just love these two so much. They're all so good. These are just our favorites. So my favorite is the chocolate peanut butter chip one. I love this one, and Brian's favorite is the chocolate chip cookie dough one. We both love both of these, and they're so good, and I definitely recommend them. And I know they have some Christmas flavors coming out because I stocked their website. Honestly, I want to work with them. Like, so Yasso bar, if you're watching this please sponsor me because we eat so many of these they're so freaking good they don't taste like greek yogurt i promise i started eating these before i started eating greek yogurt when i thought i hated greek yogurt and now i love it but these don't taste like greek yogurt they are so good so definitely pick these up i also went ahead and grabbed a package of shredded chicken i know we have chicken at home but i'm hoping to shred it um for the tacos and i figured i could just get this um just in case i don't know why i we have chicken at home but i just thought i would get this too because it's already pre-shredded and i'm gonna cook it in the salsa that was an old crock pot meal that i loved was um like crock pot chicken tacos where you literally just take salsa and you can put like bell peppers in there there too and you cook it all together and it makes the chicken really tender and then you shred it up so I'm planning to cook this in the salsa and other chicken that we have at home and shred it all up and then serve it that way it is so so good this I was super excited about it's a cauliflower crust pizza I have not tried this is the target brand I haven't tried this one yet but I love cauliflower crust pizza so I decided to pick it up it's just four cheese even though I eat meat again I've always just been a cheese pizza person honestly everyone in my family is like no one really eats like pepperoni pizza or anything like that on their pizza Pizza. so I grabbed the four cheese version and I can't wait to try this again I will definitely let you know how this is on my Instagram and then also to go along with our dinner Brian doesn't know that he's gonna be doing this but I'm gonna have him make street corn he's really really good at making street corn you put like sour cream and butter and then like paprika chipotle seasoning and you like wrap it in aluminum foil and put it on the grill and it's super super good so Brian I'm gonna see this I'm sorry but can you help me cook dinner <laughs> this is just gonna be really good and I got this idea and I just figured I'll go for it also to go with dinner I just picked up three bell peppers they came together so I figured I would buy them just an orange red and a yellow these three are definitely my favorite I can't really stand green peppers and Brian loves them I think the red ones are way better so leave me a comment down below what is your favorite color of bell pepper or if you just don't like them at all just let me know like I said before I want to cook the chicken in salsa so I just picked up two of the Tostino's medium salsa I feel like I've literally tried every single salsa in the grocery store in every grocery store in the whole world and this is just my favorite salsa like it's not too tomato-y I feel like some salsas literally taste like marinara sauce I just think this is the best one I also decided to grab a bag of like just frozen mixed fruit we like to make a lot of smoothies so I went ahead and picked that up for smoothie and you can't have tacos without cheese so I grabbed the like Tillamook Mexican four cheese this is like the thick farmhouse style like mm, oh my gosh so good I went ahead and grabbed the big thing of the Tex-Mex trail mix like you saw this is definitely a really good deal I would grab this at Target they kind of always have sales going on their trail mixes and this is the best one it is a little bit spicy so if you don't like that I wouldn't recommend it if you don't like spicy I would recommend the peanut butter monster one or the peanut butter and jelly one is really good too Target actually has really good trail mixes two more things for Mexican night I grabbed the daisy light sour cream and then that taco dip that I showed you in my last Target video I can't have taco night without my taco dip and also I'm obsessed with sour cream which is a little known fun fact about me and then also that I showed you the two Chobani yogurts just to get us through till tomorrow but now I guess that was a bad idea because I ended up grabbing a bunch of food and now we only have two yogurts so that's a problem okay so that was it for the food I also grabbed a thing of the magnolia measuring spoons Brian for some reason doesn't have measuring spoons but he has measuring cups I also want to get the matching measuring cups for these but I just decided to pick these up because I've been baking a lot and cooking a lot recently and it's really hard to eyeball like an eighth of a teaspoon so 
<laughs> I decided to grab these. And then I know that this is not everyone's color and it's also probably not even a color that looks good on me, but I decided to pick up this boxy t-shirt. I have this in a couple other colors and I love it. It's truly a pea green or like a baby poop green, but I kind of like it. So I decided to pick this up because it was on clearance for $4. And then lastly, like I showed you, the two little felt Christmas trees. This is all I got for Christmas decor. Honestly, they just didn't have much and I didn't want to pick up any of the Magnolia stuff just yet, but I wanted to grab these because I just love these. And I love using little things like this to just make the whole house feel super decorated, but these are very effortless and they're only three bucks a piece and they were the last two left. So I just feel like I was pressured into getting them because I felt like I wouldn't ever find them again. That's kind of how it is with the Target dollar spot. But that is gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my two store Target dollar spot and overall Target store Christmas sneak peek. I feel like it's safe to say after going to two stores that a lot of stores don't have out their stuff yet. Probably another week or two. Definitely by the time Halloween comes, it'll pretty much be all turned over and all the Halloween stuff will be shoved into like maybe one aisle and then it'll be fully Christmas. So I'm definitely gonna be doing more of these videos for you guys. If you wanna see an updated Target Christmas shop with me in about a week or two when everything is out, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and please, please, please hit that subscribe button. Like I said, I have big goals for my subscriber count for the end of the year. I'm really hoping to grow this channel. I seriously love this so much and I'm so passionate about it. So thank you so much to everyone who watches my videos, supports my channel, subscribes, comments. I love chatting with you guys. So go ahead and leave me a comment down below let me know your favorite stores to shop for Christmas decor because I always like think of places I'm like oh that might be a good idea like Joanne Fabrics I feel like has really cute stuff and really great deals same with Michaels they always have really cute stuff and they always have like coupons and great deals so go ahead and leave me a comment down below with your favorite places to shop for Christmas decor and I'll definitely do a video there for you guys because I don't plan on stopping Christmas decor videos anytime soon I love doing these they are super fun but thank you guys so much for watching today's video I will see you next time bye guys Bye.